More with National Post columnist Tasha Kiridan on In-Depth Radio, News Talk 1010. Welcome back. We are talking provincial and municipal politics with Councillor Josh Matlow. Hello. And hello. We have a caller on the line, Joseph from Seattle. We were just talking about Seattle, Joseph. Is this call because of the grunge comment, Joseph? Um, no. <laughs> I'm a blast from your past, and I just wanted to, first I want to, before I get to my question, I want to congratulate you, Tasha, on your National Post columnist post. Oh, thank you. And your talk show. Thank I you. I flowers, but I think I'd creep you out. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, though. Thank you very much, Joseph. What's your question for Josh today? Uh, I'm wondering how he's, A, uh, who he thinks is going to win the provincial election in Ontario since I've got friends over there, and B, do people really pay attention to the antics in Queen Puppetello's Park, or do people just not, not care about some of the antics that go on? Are you, are you, are you originally from Windsor, Joseph? <laughs> Uh, no, I'm a huge center puppetello mania syndrome sufferer. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, Joseph. Thanks for that. Wow, I, I wonder if she knows she has uh, uh, sufferers she has in fans. Seattle. She has fans. Sufferers in Seattle. That could be a movie title. It could. Um, it could. <laughs> Uh, okay, who do I who do I think is going to win the, uh, the provincial election? I honestly have no idea. You're just playing it coy. No, yeah. I mean it. I yeah. mean it. I mean it. Um, it. And this is why. I we're we're generally a liberal province these days, and um, I think a lot of people may not be impassionate about Dalton McGinty, but they're not like furious at him. That being said, though, I never would have predicted that Rob Ford was going to be elected mayor of Toronto. So if Hudak is successful in reminding people about broken promises and uh, HST and eco fees and that kind of stuff, he might have a chance. Um, challenge for Hudak is going to be that nobody knows him yet. So he's hey, people know. People not, know him. He's been around for a very long time. He's made quite a mark within the conservative circles. And, conservative circles, yeah. But, certainly, uh, so conservative the, voters. But the, but the, so the dinner parties that you go to, everyone will know who he is, right? <laughs> I don't but, go to dinner parties anymore. I have a small child. <laughs> used oh, to. The, the circles that you used to walk. <laughs> I used to walk in. But I, but I think the average Ontarian, even if they may have heard his name, they don't really know him. They don't know his personality. And I think he needs to introduce himself before the Liberals introduce him for him, if you know what Alam I mean. Michael Ignatieff with the Tories yeah. federally. The well, reverse because situation. Because, because yeah. if the Liberals are smart, they're going to call him a, 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 a libertarian right-wing nut that's going to bring back the... Evil Mike Harris stays. I know that you That's might... an attack ad waiting to happen. You got it. This morning, a call Tim Hudak out on his position on virtually every position uh, that he has taken this session. He has been um, more interested in the size of his tree and has dedicated more resources and energy to his launch of a campaign over his Christmas tree uh, than he has on matters that matter most to families in Ontario. And so I'm here to call him out. Uh, I'm demanding a plan from the leader of the opposition, and I hope that he'll spend his holiday and into the new year so when we're back in session again in February, he'll have a plan. Uh, he can only remain in the plan-free zone for so long. Uh, he will be required to speak to the people of Ontario about his plan, uh, in particular his plan for jobs and the economy, his plans for education. What will he do with junior kindergarten? What will he do in eliminating $3 billion in health care uh, when the people demand more services, not less services? So there are particular examples uh, where he's outright voted against legislation or he has railed against our initiatives. And the people of Ontario deserve to know the real position of Tim Hudak on these uh, multiple, uh, multiple areas where we've done so much work in really one of our busiest sessions since 2003. The 10 percent off hydro bills, for example, railed against electricity prices and voted against significant initiatives, uh, the likes of which we've never seen, a 10 percent decrease on those hydro bills for families, as well as small business. And this was as, as important to small business as it was to family. Uh, helping families with junior kindergarten and railing against junior kindergarten when we know our biggest issue is uh, having to deal with how soon can we roll out the whole program, uh, but Tim Hudak is opposed clean energy jobs for our communities, at the same time railing against international companies, uh, landing investments in Ontario, helping m many communities like Tilsonburg, like Windsor, like Hamilton, uh, creating gr good, clean, green jobs, and they rail against those jobs. Uh, banning public sector lobbyists, a significant initiative to be more protective of the taxpayer dollar 
things that he purports to want to support and then votes against that legislation when it's introduced in the House, against attracting investment and jobs, mocks our opportunities around the world when in fact they are landing investments right here, right here in our province. Uh, improving government services, voting against the open for business bill. They purport to business to want to cut regulation or change how governments do business to be better for business, and then they vote against the open for business bill. So I'm calling him out, and he needs to be honest with the people of Ontario about what he would be doing. You can't be planless forever. So I'll stop there and I'm happy to take some of your questions. When I go into communities and talk to business about open for business and what we're actually doing uh, to make those changes, the opposition and Tim Hudak in particular rails against these activities. You can only do that for so long. Uh, we're going into our final year as the election arrives and they've clearly begun theirs. So I say it's time for a plan. Uh, and I know we are uh, being cute with planless in Seattle or plan less free, you know, plan free zone. Uh, but this is real. Uh, his statements impact on how people feel in this province. And we are coming out with positive initiatives to help families and we demand that the opposition have a plan. We've had initiatives that the opposition railed against and voted against, like opening freedom of information to more agencies, so we could actually expose the kind of behavior that they had while they were the government. So to stand in the House today on the government side and hear them rail against an Auditor General's report that could never have had the ability to have such a report if it were up to the Conservatives, and they voted against the bill to let us access that information. It's pretty galling, and I think the people of Ontario need to hear the whole story. They need to know that, in fact, we exposed their ministers for traveling to Euro Disney with their family and bearing expenses in energy agencies. So it, it took our government to open those agencies to freedom of information so we could access that. So today, when we post those kinds of expenses now across the government so we as government can see what more work needs to be done and then we do it, I expect support from opposition parties, not railing against every well, step. Well, bets on the provincial sure, election. And, and I'd be happy to uh, when I actually figure it out. Because, <laughs> because the thing is, you know, a lot of people also say that they're that you know, education, healthcare, various things have had reinvestments since the Mike Harris era. Right. So it really depends on how angry people are uh, come this October. Yeah. <laughs>